I've gone ahead and I verified my account. Hopefully it didn't take you too long to verify yours. It now drops me into my Google Drive and you can see that I have five folders here. My courses, SLCC stuff, teaching, temporary, VAD, visual art and design stuff. It's important that you stay organized and I don't want to tell you how to organize your own file structure so I'm going to provide a uh, suggestion and you can choose to follow it or if there's another way that you want to stay organized by all means as long as you're staying organized and you know where to find things that's what's important and so I would recommend creating a folder so I take courses sometimes and so I have a folder that says my courses and I make a folder inside there for every class that I'm taking for this example I'm going to create a folder on the visual homepage here for current classes and so you can create a new folder for our class art 1280 by hitting new and then folder. If you want to go above and beyond you can even type that's Photoshop software. And then you can create a folder. I like to color code things on visual so if you want to color code the folder you can right click and then choose to change the color. Let's make it blue because Photoshop is blue. And then everything that you save for our class is going to go inside there. And so you can then choose how you want to organize inside the folder. And I would recommend creating a folder for every time you submit. And so that will be six creative projects and then your skills practice activities. If you're really proactive, you can create all of those folders right now. Um, but you should only have to do it um, as you're progressing through the semester. So you can create a new folder. I'm going to submit Creative Project 1 is the example, and so you can call it Creative Project 1, or you can call it um, your last name, Creative Project 1, or better yet, when you go to upload your files, if you upload the entire file folder that we created here, you don't even have to create the folder first you only have to drag and drop the entire folder onto the Google Drive. 